Does summer start tomorrow officially? It does. Okay. Four, 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 four fifty. Four fifty. Four. See. See, this is we're in the heart of summer. We're in the heart of summer vacation time. Summer starts tomorrow. Plenty of people have plans to get away really soon. But tell me this: What if you got an email from the HR department that says mm, that vacation oh. that you planned for this coming Friday? It ain't happening. I would get, I would panic you, a little you bit. You panic, right? Well, what if it's not really your HR mm, department? Zach Myers has a heads up about the vacation notification scam. Zach, what is up with this? Right, that would get your heart going, right? Once you get that email, you're like, wait, well, there, there's a problem with your time off scheduled just a few weeks from now uh, for a vacation you've been looking forward to for months. Well, that's part of the strategy of this scam. According to the watchdogs at Scamicide, the vacation notification scam tends to come around this time of year and the winter holidays. You get an email from what looks like your company's human resources department. It might say that you need to do an urgent rescheduling or your time off hasn't been officially approved or you need to confirm the dates. But wait, you already confirmed the dates and you already got the time off approved. So what's going on? Well, there's a link in the email for you to click so you can clear it up, but you do not want to click on that link. It'll either infect your computer or device with malware or take you to a site to log in and basically hand over your credentials to a scammer. To protect yourself here, the experts at Perala Security say you need to check that email address. Is it coming from your normal scheduler or HR representative or the email normally used by your company? Have you ever had to take this extra step of confirmation before? Does your HR department normally send a link for you to click on something like this to handle this. If the answer to any of those questions is no, don't do it. Start a new email conversation or pick up the phone or walk down the hall to your HR representative and ask about this. Remember, the crooks are trying to get your blood pressure going and get you flustered so you act impulsively without thinking. Best thing you can do is stay calm and suspicious. You can find more attached to this story right now at fox59.com. This is partially tricky because, uh, you know, here and at a lot of companies, we do get emails from the company with links, like we just did some, uh, some uh, uh, security training recently on how to spot this very thing, yeah. and there was a link to click on in that email. Yeah. So it can be tricky when they start, start sending this, and the uh, address looks realistic. Yeah. By the way, I got 100% on that test that we had to do. Nice. Waiting for her to do it. <laughs> By the way, I still haven't taken the test. Oh, <laughs> it, well, it's, it's good. It, I mean, it had some good reminders of the red flags to look for. By the way, if that fishing. email did come in, I'm taking my vacation anyway because we very seldom yeah, go on vacation. So why would not it be approved? I'll so. just walk over and talk to Vicki. Yeah. <laughs> like, where's our HR? Okay. Thank you.